All right, let's keep going, everybody. Let's keep on moving. Let's talk about serve your way to six figures. The, be the beauty industry is truly ever evolving. It can really be whatever you want it to be. Six figures is just a, you know, a good standard point, but hey, seven figures, eight figures, whatever you want to do, whatever you imagine, whatever you dream of, you can do it. You can put your plan in motion, believe, work towards it, being committed to it. There, of course, there's so many things in play here, but the, the, the main gist of what I'm saying is it's possible. You can do it. And I feel like there are basic elements that must be in play before you even get to the six figures. There are basic things that have to be in play when you are on your way to becoming this mega business. And if you already have your systems in place, then the growth and all of that is just a matter of time. The money will follow. The revenues will increase. The customers will come. So in this section... Let's just talk about, you know, serve your way to the six figures. And I also love definitions. So I had to look up, you know, what does serve or servicing mean? And the definition according to Webster's Dictionary is the action of helping someone. That's what we're doing. We are helping someone. We're helping someone achieve their beauty goals. You know, being able to provide the services that they need in order to create the image, the presence that they want. That's what we do every day. We're helping people. So to talk, just to, to focus more on the actual components of what we're doing, it's only going to make us better. It's only going to, you know, help us grow and truly become unforgettable. We want to stay on our customers' minds. There's so many choices. They could go anywhere for that lash treatment or that haircut or for that microblading service or for that facial, they could go anywhere. But we don't want them to go anywhere. We want them to come to us because we are unforgettable. From the first impression to the last, we are unforgettable because we put work into this, into becoming amazing businesses. So let's talk a little bit about some ways that we can serve our way to six figures. This is just the beginning, uh, beginning discussion or some beginning, some early insights into doing this. And I'm sure as you continue to think about it, you can add to this list, of course. So as we are serving our way to six figures, I want you to be bold. Be bold enough to even just dream bigger dreams that I can do anything that I set my mind to and I will be courageous. I will push myself, you know, to just, just, just expand my way of thinking, the way I approach my business, the way I present myself, the services I deliver, just rethink it, rethink things, challenge yourself. You know, in a good way, in a positive way, not in a way that you're beating up on yourself, but in a way that you you just understand that there is so much potential on the inside of you and you want to be able to tap into every single bit of it. So be bold. In this particular uh, section where we're talking about serving our way uh, to the six figures, it takes some boldness <laughs> to just believe you can do it or you can surpass that. And I'm believing because you're here today with me and in this training that you're there or you're on your way. So here are some ideas that I would like to share as you are serving your way. First of all, if you calculate $100,000 for the year, if you break it all the way down, divide $100,000 by 52 weeks. And if you are working a 40 hour week in your, your business, in your beauty salon, do you realize that that breaks down to about $48 an hour? $48, $48 an hour, 48, 40 hour work week, 52 weeks comes up to $100,000. $48. Let that sink in. Let's just take a pause right here. $48. So surely 
we can find a way to come up with plans where we can achieve $48 an hour. Absolutely. Remember, as we talk throughout, we're already unforgettable. We're creatives. We're beauty professionals. We create. We come up with ideas. So we're going to continue to come up with ideas where we know we can consistently make at least $48 an hour. At least. I know that we can do even better than that. But hey, that's just a starting point. But $48 hour, $48 an hour, full-time work week, over the course of year, a year, is going to get you to 100000 And the way we're going to do it is we're going to serve our way to the six figures. So here are some ideas that I have. First of all, people do business with who they like. They really do. So we have to have the personality. We have to have the professionalism. You know, we have to deliver those things, make great impressions, and then deliver by delivering amazing services. So if they come for the last treatment, it's done well, quality products, we take good care of the client, you know, they are pleased, they are happy, we've exceeded their expectations. And then on top of that, we're just good old, good old people. We're just nice people and we love what we do. People do business with who they like. So remember that. Also, there are little things that we can do, you know, to just, again, serve our way to the six figures. One is we can do simple things like offer water to our clients. Very simple. But after a service, you have water available to them, maybe a bottle of water or cold, refreshing water that's infused with, hey, maybe lemon and lime and and maybe some mint that they can take on their way home after after they've had a nice service with you in a beautiful environment with beautiful that smells good candles. It's relaxing. It's peaceful and calm. What a nice touch to send them on their way with something refreshing. Also, making sure we say thank you. So of course we verbally say thank you after the service, but that sometimes we just send a thank you note in the mail or maybe a thank you email that I appreciate you. Thank you for choosing me. Thank you for being a loyal client for over seven years. Thank you. I am successful and I, my business is growing because of you. Thank you for your referrals. So let's be just give an abundance of thank yous. Let them know we say thank you and we appreciate you. We appreciate your business and would never take it for granted. So send those thank yous in whatever form you feel the most comfortable. Um, you know, writing a personal note, the emails, um, if it's some other way, whatever. Just, just let them know that you thank them. Another thing that we can do with simple things is create events. They don't have to be expensive. They don't have to be cumbersome or over orchestrated. Very simple things. The holidays are coming up. You know, maybe with those holidays, you're like, let me just have a little, you know, nice refreshments for them, uh, like customer appreciation kind of events over the holidays. You know, maybe, hey, it's fall is coming. So many people like pumpkin spice, things like that. Maybe one day they come in and you've got pumpkin spice cupcakes, you know, for them. And, you know, maybe a little tea or something to drink. Just simple things that say that I care and that I thank you. And I thank you for coming back. So that adds to, again, we're serving our way. We have a system. We have a methodology. We are serving our way to the six figures. So yeah, I might have to spend a little bit for some refreshments or the thank you cards and all that, but the returns are going to supersede whatever investment I made. Serving our way to six figures. That's what we're doing. That's, that's the system. That's what we're going to work. Serving our way, helping others. Another thing that we can do in serving our way to the six figures, again, is listening to our customer. And from there, we may be able to recommend multiple services that may help them achieve their beauty goals. So if you have someone in there, you know, say that you're an esthetician and they come to you for um, maybe to get their brows done, but they're complaining about maybe their skin not looking as good or as dewy or as, as soft or fresh as it, as it once did. You can easily recommend, you know, maybe a facial treatment that will help them feel better and pamper their skin. 
You know, it may be another recommendation if it's something that requires, you know, a little bit more of an intensive type treatment. Maybe it's microneedling, maybe it's a peel, maybe it's putting them on a facial regimen or particular types of skincare products at home. But in those things, you're able to, you know, basically provide solutions where they are trying additional services with you. And that's one client. So always, always listen. Again, we are serving our way to the six figures. Another thing that we can do well is complimentary services. Just being nice for people who continue to come back to us. You know, maybe it is, hey, I do hair. They always come for their color treatment. And, you know, this particular time, I'm not going to charge them for the trim. Or maybe I'm not going to charge them for uh, the condition treatment this time, conditioning treatment this time. You know, maybe I'm just going to make that compliment because I just want them to know I appreciate them. And they're going to remember that. See, that's unforgettable that you gave me this complimentary service. I didn't ask, and I, but I'm sure appreciative. And it lets me know that you see me and you appreciate my business and me coming back to you time and time again. So complimentary services as well. Holiday cards birthday cards, just a simple note, just a little extra effort in those spaces of that person to let them know that I see you and I appreciate you as a person. And then I would say another thing that we can do in serving our way to our six figures is across all of our platforms, having consistent messaging, you know, whether you're on Instagram, Twitter, whatever it might be, Facebook, that it is very clear that I'm the same business, you know, that there's a consistency with the language, how I talk, the energy I provide to my clients, how I respond to clients, you know, even the types of things that I post. Are they positive? Are they uplifting? You know, are they educational? Are they insightful? You know, or do they just sometimes make you make you laugh or they're funny, but they're always done in good taste. They're always done in uh, such a way that puts my business in a great light. So all of these things, there's some things that you can do to create systems to serve your way to six figures by helping people. That's what it's all about. You help them, you help your customer, they are going to help you. They're going to help you grow your business and help get you closer to those six figures, if not more. So remember all of this in the training today. And be bold, go after it. Don't worry about maybe mistakes made in the past or things you haven't done or not having the focus on customer. We don't care. That was the past. We're moving forward, moving forward. So with the list that I gave you, add some other things to the list. Keep growing, keep trying things until you find that perfect combination that creates a system of service that proves you well in your business. So go for it. You can do it. And I'm so excited about where you are headed.